algebra students, welcome to the most exciting and influential <laughs> video on doing algebra. Today we're going to talk about simple and compound interest and the difference between them and how you can find the difference between them. Okay? Interest, a very simple explanation is if you give money to a bank and they pay you interest, they pay you for keeping your money in their bank. And so that's why you would want to put money in the bank. But if you use a credit card and use their money, then you pay interest. And so this is something that actually does influence your life, um, even though a lot of you might think that math doesn't influence your life. This is one thing that really does. Okay, so <clears throat> a, couple, a couple of definitions. The P stands for principal. That's the amount. Principal is the amount that you borrow. The R is the rate that you use in a percentage. They give it to you as a percentage, but in the problem we want to use it as a decimal. That's why I wrote this in capital letters, is because you want to use the rate as a decimal. And time. That's how long you either lend the money for or borrow the money for. Okay, so let's do an example. And let's say that you are going to invest simple interest $500 in a bank. So the P equals $500. And they are going to pay you a 4% rate. So your rate is 4%. But remember, we don't want to use the percent. We want to use it as a decimal. Thank you, everyone, as a decimal. So we transfer this from 4%, and we say that that's 0.04, that is a percent as a decimal. So that's the number we're going to use in all of our calculations. And then time, we want to invest that for five years. Okay? So, <clears throat> to find how much we would make in simple interest if, if the bank paid simple interest, we simply plug in and multiply. P is 500, so interest equals P, which is 500, times R, which is 0.04, 4%, and times the time that it is going to be uh, given to the bank for. And so we look at it. Okay, so we multiply 500 times 0 0.04. And that is 20. So 500 times 0 0.04 is 20. You times that by 5. And the interest, the interest that we would get paid is $100. But that's not the total amount, because how much did we have originally? You're right, we had $500. And so now we add another 100 to that 500, so the our amount equals the principal plus the interest, which is 500, plus 100, so our amount equals 600. That's simple interest. Let's use the same formula for the compound interest. The amount equals the principal, which is $500, times 1 plus the rate, which is 0.04, to the power of 5. This is going to change things. So our amount equals 500 times 1.04 to the power of 5. On our calculator, 1.04 to the power of 5 ends up being 1.21. And so we multiply 1.21 by 500. And we end up with our amount equals 608.32. Okay, and so you can see that if we did compound interest and we plugged all these numbers in, over the five years we would actually earn $8 more interest than we would have in simple interest. And that is a really quick example of how to find the difference between simple interest and compound interest. And so, there you go. 